hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with the Catch Carpent course, and we are still at River Ebro. Now, last time we were here, we were basically fishing under the bridge here in this location, and I did go further downstream and managed to find a really, really good spot for catching the carp, and I think I'm going to go down there a little bit further and see what we can scare up this time. Now there are plenty of Xander here as well. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is at sunset, so I know the light is a little bit low, but it seems to be really effective for the carp. Ahead is over here. Happens to be some lily pads and some other cover on this side of things. And when I was here last, I was catching quite a few fish. Also, see you can see from my fish finder there. There's quite a few things down there, so we're going to check this out. We might have to turn our... I don't know. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and turn this around a little bit. get our rod holders pointed in the right direction. There we go. Now, I'm going to keep with what I was fishing with last time. Hey, well, you can already see some activity there. Let's see, I think if I remember correctly, I was using the mixed gear here, and I've got Cray boilies on here. I've got big fish, river range, cheese, and garlic durables. All these I've got some fairly good sized rigs here. I think I might change this to a little bit bigger though. We've got a lot of silt here, but we've also got some gravel nearby. I think I might try a gravel rig this time on this one. And I think we'll switch over. We've got a lot of these new boilies, and I really want to just give them a try. So we got this swim, stim, Antarctic krill. Got key cray wafers, Florentine pop ups. Let's try these cray pop ups. What kind of pop up seems to do really well, honestly. Now, I'm going to Okay, so this one over in this direction. Because I believe this direction, yeah, we've got gravel there. Let's see, what do we got on this one? Oh, shoot. Looks like we've got the wrong rod in the wrong place here. Hold on, let me go ahead and cast this where it's supposed to go. This is the one over in the gravel. Yep. Let's grab number two and put it over there where the silt is. The silt's right next to me. Well, there was some silt there, but we'll throw it over here. Perfect. And then we've got this particular rod, and I'm trying to remember exactly what I had on here. Okay, I got a pikey, strike pikey black silver. So this is something that a number of species will go after. Now, I always like the bottom rod 
at least a few of them and then do some well let's take that speed down considerably we got quite a current here yeah it might behoove us to go this direction since the current is coming towards us from the from behind the boat It didn't take long for us to get a bite. We've got a lot of Xander out here. I have not seen any Northern Pike yet, but the Xander are just nuts out here. I think that's what we've got here. That's what it's looking like. There we go. And there's a nice new nice little Xander. He's not a monster, five pounds, but we do have something on something. One of the other lines here looks like it's number three, the pop up craze. Whatever it is, it's getting off the hook, so we need to do some serious retrieval here. I don't know what it is about the spot. I came over here testing out different spots and locations. I thought under the bridge would do real well as it did, you know, when I tried it in the last episode, but I came over here and it's just been one fish after another. I don't know if it's because of the location or the time of day that I picked, which was sunset. All I know is they are biting like crazy. I think we've got some kind of carp here. Just by the way he's moving, he's moving real slow. I don't know, he's... Can't tell yet. Let's see if he's a thick-bodied fish. Yep, that is a carp. He is not wanting to come. Damn. Well, it sounds like we got another one, too. Here we go. We got him. Whew. Man, that's a big one. That's a big one. And he's still common. 34 pounds common carp. Okay, let's get this one before we lose him. It's like I told you guys, I tell you, they are really biting here. Yeah, I've been getting... Mirror carp, common carp, barbel, Xander, and Wells catfish all around here. It seems like they're going for just about any kind of bait I throw at them. So it's always a mystery as far as what I'm going to get.
Okay, let's put a little more tension on there. Yeah, I think we got us another carp. Yep, we do. Can't tell if he's a common or a mirror yet, but I don't think see, think he's as big as the last one. The last one was 32 pounds, so. Well, he's still got some love to him, I'll tell you. Let's see. There we got him. He is a mirror carp. He's a good size. Look how fat he is. He's still common. Yeah, he's 27 pounds. Not quite as big, but still a very nice fish. So, I tell you, I might try over here just to mix things up since I've got the one for silt on here. Let's try throwing out towards the, the rocks that way. Perfect. I did see some movement over there, so I'm going to try this. Ah! Very easy to do in this game, unfortunately. It's a little more sensitive. But I tell you, a lot of times you can just let it float out on its own. I have seen it do that, and the fish go for it anyway. That's just from the current. Looks like we've got one on. Was it number two again? Yep. Don't be surprised if something goes after number one, even though it's just floating there. Happens all the time. He doesn't seem to be moving much towards me. I think it's a carp. There we go. Yep, I think it's another mirror carp. We got him. We got him. Now he's really kind of pale looking. But he is a Maricarp. Not quite as big as the last one. Still very nice looking fish. Not seeming to get any trophies here. Or specimens, as they call them, in this particular thing. I think I might. Oh, there we go again, number one. And that. Ah, oh, that's what I meant. 
Sometimes you'll get bites off these even though it's just floating. Okay, that's a good strike. Whatever it is, it's not big. Yep, it's a European perch. Rare. He's a specimen. Three pounds, eight ounces. Not bad. Hook keeps the stand hook strained. And he is gaining. This is a big fish. Come on, fish. Okay, he is coming in. Based on the way he's moving, he is either a carp or a catfish. A catfish of some. Believe it or not, I've caught channel catfish out of here too. So. I don't know if those are invasive species or what the deal is. I think this, yeah, it's a carp. It's a big one, though. We got him. We got him. Oh, wow. This has got to be a specimen, at least. Yep. Check it out. Specimen fish, 60 pounds, 30 ounces. 13 ounces. Very nice. Rare. Common carp. He was worth a lot of XP, too. A nice looking fish. He is huge. Well, they're definitely here, guys. There's some big fish here. I don't know if I'm ever going to get one of those trophy ones, but maybe if I keep at it, that's all I can do. Let me see here. I need. The second one. I think this is like right off the boat. I don't know why it's close. Let's see here. Unless it floated that way. Ah.
Okay. Yeah, it's floating a little bit. That's why it's moving in. Well, let me see. I'm going to change this up a little bit again. Let me try a spoon this time. Either that or swim bait. Well, we could try a crappie swim bait. Let's try that. Well, shoot. Looks like number three and two are both taken off. It's like you get nothing for a while and you'll get both all at the same time. And he's always ma already managed to take a little bit out of this, so we're going to have to work at this one. Another big old carp. Well, I thought I had one on two, but apparently I no longer do. Well, this one wasn't nearly as big as the last one. He's a little mirror carp. Okay, let's toss this one out this way. Now, I think I have this as gravel, so I might try a new location just to mix things up. There we go, that works. I have not gotten any good bites over here, so we're going to move. It has to be on silt. Okay, that's good. Really haven't got any bites off the swim bait for some reason. So I don't know if it's any good or not. I was thinking about changing it to a spoon. I think I still might. Yep, I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's see here. Yeah, let's... Let's try this blue chrome spoon. Ah, dang on it. So easy to overpower on this. Well, it really wasn't a bad cast, honestly. And we got us a strike right off the bat. That's a good sign. Let's 
it's not looking like it's a big fish. I think we got some of the European perch. Yep. Common sized. Sounds like we got another one. Maybe more than one. It's just number two? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so this was off the silt hook. Yeah, he's not a huge monster, but still a decent fish. Yeah, he's a mirror carp. I can see his big scales. And we got him. Oh, he's pretty. He's got some really distinct scales on him. Yeah, he's nice looking. 31 pounds, that's nothing to sneeze at. That's a good sized fish. Yeah, there's a lot of these guys out here. Quite a few commons. The occasional specimen. I don't know where in the world to find these boss fish. I am determined to eventually find one, but... So far, no luck. There we go. Let's see what we got here. I think we got us another European perch. He doesn't look big. Nope, he's a tiny little guy. <laughs> yeah, the European perch love those little blue spoons. Sounds like we got one on number three, maybe? Ooh, so this is over here in this location, and it's already slipping, so I don't know what this is. It's a carp. That much I'm pretty sure, but what kind? Mm. Kind of hard to tell at this point. I think he's common, but I'm going to have to... No? No, he's a mirror carp. He's got some unusual looking scales. A 
let me see. I might try a different bait this time just to mix things up. I was using the pop-ups. Let's see. We've got... Now we could try these chicken livers. See if we can't sink into a good size catfish of some kind. Oh, seriously? Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and switch this up to... Now what? I don't know. Got all kinds of them here, guys. I haven't spent any of my earned cash. But this one really looks interesting. I don't know what would go for it. Let's see. Perch and trout, huh? Oh. Well, looks like we got activity on number three, so it ain't gonna matter. Hook's already slipping, so he is not messing around. I think... I don't know if this is a chicken livers or... the pop. I think this is pop-up tiger nuts. This could be damn near anything, honestly. Lots of things go for the pop-up tiger nuts. I think it is a... What is that? <laughs> oh, wow. There you go, guys. I told you you could get channel catfish here. Check it out. Off the chicken livers. Well, that's not surprising. It's what I've used to fish for them here. Just seems a little strange that channel catfish are found in Spain. They must have been transferred here or something. But yeah, I was going to change this to something something new. Something Not tried before. Let's see. Flapjack. So this is for jigging purposes. I might try that to see what that does. There we go. New lure. And we got a bite right off the bat. I think it's a European perch though. He's pretty small. But still, always a good sign. Number two. Oh. Thought I had the right one there. There we go. Okay, this guy is... This guy's pretty good size.
Okay, what is this? Okay, this is not a carp. It's either a very large sander or something else entirely. I'm not sure. Looks like a sander, honestly. Just seemed kind of strange that it went. It might be a barbel. I don't know. Let's see what this is. It is a barbel indeed, and he's a big one. Yep. He is a specimen barbel off the pop up tiger nuts. Got more TP here, and he is 14 pounds, 14 ounces. It's not a bad fish, guys. All right. Well, I think that's a pretty successful fishing trip. We're doing really well here, guys. You might want to try this location. Again, let me show you where that is. Let's go to the map here. It is right in this location right here. You start off here and you come down to this location where the bend in the river is. And you kind of look for that little bend right there. And you just plant yourself right there. And it seems like most of them I'm getting is casting out this direction. Make sure that the hooks that you're using are either for silt or gravel. That's pretty much what the substrate is here. And you will get lots of carp, I will tell you that. And occasional barbel and heck, even occasional channel catfish. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of the Catch Carp and Course. So until then guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.